Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all of your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's the energy surrounding my Virgos today, Spirit Show Me. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. We got self-reflection. We got you guys putting up boundaries, pleasure, realization, and growth. A lot of focus on yourself. A lot of focus on bettering yourself. A lot of focus on your growth and your abundance. Some of you guys could have been born on the 5th. I have the 12th. I have the 3rd. I have the 17th. And I have the 18th. Talks about the Ace of Swords. Reflecting on what is real. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. A lot of focus on your work, a lot of focus on your education, a lot of focus on the things that you are working on. Ace of Swords, total mental clarity, total focus right now, present moment. You guys have a lot of focus. I feel like this is reflecting on wasted time. Right now, present moment, there's something about you guys reflecting on time, time that has been wasted you could have done something. It's like wanting to accomplish something at some point in time, but this is being redirected. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. There's an independence. There's an independence in you guys' energy right now, present moment. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Reflecting, there's, a, there's reflection. Reflecting backwards. Reflecting on your past. Your past choices and your past decisions. The things that I feel like some of you guys right now, present moment, this is reflecting on the things that you've done well, the things that you've done good. Some of you guys could have been in the military. Some of you guys, you could have went to college. You could have furthered your education. You could have been working on your master's degree. You could. There's something here about you guys going above and beyond, above and beyond the call of duty, above and beyond the call of your education, furthering yourself in this lifetime. A lot of, I feel like there's a lot of reflecting on that. Going beyond the call of duty, going beyond past the generations before you. Past generations before you. I do see where you guys right now, present moment, you're putting up some boundaries here. Show me these boundaries. Four of Swords. Healing and resting, temperance, it's time. It's time. This is connecting to the divine right now, present moment. Strong Sagittarius energy. Spending a lot of time in meditation, spending a lot of time taking care of yourself, resting, healing. I feel like you guys are right now, present moment. The boundaries you're putting up is it's like it's time to heal from childhood wounds. Time to heal from I feel like this is this has to do with a lot of you guys upbringing healing relationships i'm getting that type of energy like some of you guys putting up boundaries with individuals right now present moment truly healing relationships truly connecting to the divine being patient being patient with the healing process being patient with yourself this is a proud this is a proud energy very proud a lot of pleasure enjoying life right now present moment show me this pleasure we have the knight of cups two of wands and the three of pentacles coming together 
making trip, making plans. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. I see you guys making plans. This is a relationship. This is a relationship with someone here that you work well with. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody that's very loving, very caring, very charming. Very loving, very caring, very charming. Planning a future here with that Three of Pentacles. Planning how this is going to work out. Planning trips, planning vacations. Two of Wands, you guys are planning right now, present moment. If this is not you planning, someone else is planning. Planning a successful relationship. To sweep someone off their feet. I feel like you guys have someone here that's planning a way of sweeping you off your feet. Someone wants to have children with you. Someone wants to build with you. You have somebody here that likes you a lot. They want to build with you. You guys have put in a lot of work with your mental health, your physical and your emotional health. You put in a lot of work here. Total clarity. You've taken the time out to really and truly look in the mirror and do the work. With that self-reflection, you guys have taken the time. There's a realization that's happening right now in front of you guys. What is it that my Virgos are realizing right now, present moment, spirit? The tower, Scorpio energy. What's good for you? What's bad for you? Show me this tower. Eight of wands. Communication. Travel. This is movement. Unexpected movement. Unexpected communication. I feel like this is outside of you. I feel like this is up outside of you. This 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 tower moment. I don't feel like it's it's you. The wheel. Some of you guys could be dealing with the karmic here. Some of you guys, you could definitely. It talks about good fortune. Unexpected good luck is coming in for you guys. Unexpected good luck. Unexpected communication. Unexpected travel. The wheel. That's good fortune. That's good karma. That's the wheel. That's positive changes positive changes times are changing for you guys right now present moment things are shifting into a positive direction it's coming out of this is kind of coming out of left field for you guys you know i feel like it's like you've been working you've been working you've been working to bring forth positive changes in your life and it's like all of a sudden these positive changes are starting to creep in for you guys all of a sudden they're starting to creep in strong sagittarius energy show me the wheel Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. That's your energy. That's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You guys are in a good place. You guys are in a good place. I feel like this is kind of like all of a sudden taking a step back, looking from the outside in. Or like this is like tallying up your books, running your numbers, and seeing that you're in a better position than you were before, or even in a better position than you actually thought. You guys are in a better position right now, present moment, but there's a realization. All of a sudden, you're just in a better position. All of a sudden, all of your hard work, all of your taking, like, cleansing, all of your detoxifying, all of the sacrifices, that's what I'm getting. All of the sacrifices that you guys have made, you're starting to reap the reward from those sacrifices. Show me this growth. The world... The star, your dreams, the world, starting a whole new life for yourself, manifesting a whole new life, closing out a, closing out one cycle and starting something new. This is about your faith and your hope. This is about your wishes and your dreams. This is about you guys believing upon a star that finally things will, th finally things are done and you're ready to begin anew, ready to begin anew. I feel like there's a level of maturity here. I do. I feel like there's a level of maturity here. Show me. Three of Cups, celebrating. Knight of Wands, having some fun. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Right now, present moment, you guys are really and truly, you have a lot to be happy about. A lot to be proud of. A lot to be celebrated. Some of you guys, right now, present moment, you are being celebrated for your successes, for your milestones that you have reached 
there's certain people in your energy they're celebrating you because you were able to walk away from certain things and start truly chase after the things that brought you joy that you were passionate about and I see where you guys are proud of this but I also see there's other people in your energy that's extremely proud of you that's extremely proud of you show me spirit we have the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in some of you guys you're planning vacation right now present moment some of you guys you you've been um, like you've been waiting to take a trip some of you guys there's there's something here about something at a distance from you show me four of wands you're 11 11 some of you guys could be in a long distance relationship there's a lot of celebrating some of you guys may have family at a distance. It's like you're waiting to reunite with this, with this person, with these people. Show me. Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be sending money overseas. Or you may be getting some type of new opportunity to travel overseas to see family. Show me. The Fool. A brand new beginning. Some of you guys may be setting down roots overseas or, or moving at a distance. Justice. Good karma. Good karma. The Fool. A brand new beginning. Justice Libra energy. This is like settling. Settling old debts. Starting a whole new life for yourself. Settling old karmic debts. Starting a, a brand new life for yourself. Show me. Six of Pentacles with the Three of Swords in the reverse. Healing. Healing heartache and pain. Six of Pentacles. Gifting. I feel like, you guys, this is just not about healing heartache and pain. This is healing a life cycle. Healing generational. Like generations of healing. Having something, this talks about charity this talks about having an excess, an excess of abundance. Some of you guys, there's an energy here of you could you could be getting like some type of settlement here. And it's it's like some of you guys, there's a there's a settlement that's coming through due to some type of physical ailment. And there and I feel like that starts up a new beginning for you. A new beginning for you. Show me. The magician. Gemini Virgo energy manifesting, manifesting, manifesting and communicating, speaking out loud, speaking into existence what it is that you want for yourself. I feel like it's because right now, present moment, you're in that position. Some of you guys may be actually taking up like public speaking, speaking for like a nonprofit or speaking for like some type of organization, defending. I feel like right now, present moment, some, there's an energy here of like there's almost like a protesting some of you guys may be actually protesting show me strength leo energy with the page of cups something that you care about something that you care about strong leo energy this is you guys manifesting you guys are extremely strong strong proud Strong and proud here. You have someone here that you care about greatly. That you're defending, that you're protecting. Show me. Two of Cups. A soulmate, a friend, a partner. Yeah, show me. Four of Cups. You make ace of wands this is like giving offering a helping hand to someone so some of you guys may find that you're going to be offering a helping hand to someone it's like bringing somebody along with you for the ride raising somebody up here this person has some good ideas this person has a lot of potential i feel like you see the potential in this person it's just that this person's luck luck hasn't been on this person's side queen of swords when you help this person, this person is not going to be in a good place. When you help this person, this is almost like someone that may 
it's like why do you do what you do Ooh, what was that the moon and judgment yeah poor judgment calls very moody very emotional hmm i feel like you guys are going to be helping someone in the very near future here scorpio cancer pisces energy libra gemini aquarius energy bad attitude bad decisions there's a lot of potential for this person to make something of themselves make something out of their life and there's something here about you guys being called to help this person this is somebody that you care about this is a soulmate this could form into a good partnership here a good relationship something solid something solid and it doesn't have to be this could be a friend this could be a lover this could be a child or somebody very youthful it's someone that you care about some of you guys this could definitely be a child but it's someone here that they've been afforded so many opportunities and it's like this is like someone here that makes bad decisions haven't reached there and it's like they're mad at the world here i'm getting you guys helping someone here they're kind of mad at the world knight of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy but this is your loyal heart teaching someone discipline i feel like some of you guys are going to be trying to teach someone some true discipline here ten of swords but do be careful because there's something here about this person this person may do something wrong like you know like there's a turning point i don't know if this it starts off bad and it turns into something else page of wands yeah it just kind of gives me a feeling of this loyal heart that you have it could definitely be a bumpy ride between you and this person starting off with Starting off with, this could definitely be a bumpy ride between you and this person. Let's see. And I feel like it's because this person is just not in a good place. This person tells themselves certain things. This person could have been in the military. Somebody here, this could have been like a buddy that you may have served in the service with. Or somebody here that you may have been a business partner with this person at some point in time. And you may have parted ways with this person. I'm definitely getting someone that you may have parted ways with at some point in time. Coming back in and you're helping this person. But it's almost like, I don't want to say this person is trying to screw you at first. But it's like this person, it's just the way that they move, the way that they talk, the way that they feel doesn't align with you. Because you guys are in a good place when you're, when you're trying to help this person. It says not enough. Look at that. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. You know, some of you guys, you may be trying to help a friend and this person is jealous and this person is fearful. This person has an ego because I do see what you guys are trying to help someone here. Someone may lack your confidence. I'm getting someone may continuously self-sabotage themselves. Some of you guys may be dealing with an adult child that continuously self-sabotages frustrated in a relationship this could be a relationship with a i'm getting an adult child or even a very immature adult here this could be an, an, an old a, a sibling a younger sibling but there's a frustration that you guys have heartbroken deeply hurt sad you may be dealing with somebody here who has some wounds that hasn't been rectified or healed I see separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. You may be helping a friend here. Somebody here that may have lost someone very near and dear to their heart. There's a separation. There's a breakup. There's a feeling lost. Some of you guys, this, I, this could be you, but I'm also getting this is somebody outside of you. I'm definitely getting someone outside of you. Show me. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, self narcissist, a one-sided relationship and love bombing, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. There's someone here that you guys are trying to help. There's definitely, because the, the way the energy is coming out, there's someone here you guys are trying to help. This person has gone through it. This person is going through it. And you guys are trying to be a good stewardess. You're trying to be a good friend. But I also see where it's tough. It's truly tough trying to help this person. And I still see you guys being this loyal, dependable friend. Trying to be. But you're dealing with somebody here that's moody. 
and somebody that also I'm getting like this is somebody that they they act very hastily like they don't think they just do they don't think they don't, they just do and they don't think about the consequences of it all we have dating meeting someone new some of you guys you may be dating someone new right now present moment and your kid may not like this some of you guys may be trying to get back out there and you're and you're meeting a lot of I don't want to say a lot of trash, but it's like you're meeting a lot of immature individuals. You're meeting a lot of moody individuals. You're meeting a lot of individuals where it's like just one night stands, hookups. And then for some of you guys, there's someone here that you're meeting and it says soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract. Like it's like kissing a whole lot of frogs before you actually meet the one here. Yeah, again. You're the empath and you're dealing with a lot of narcissistic individuals, a lot of assholes and jerks being charmed or used, enabled in boundaries. Because at some point in time, you guys are having to put up boundaries because there's someone, there's, there's more than one person here in this energy. So some of you guys are dealing with a friend here that, that needs, some of you guys, you're, 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 it's like you're, you're dealing with one person that's just no good. And then finally you meet the right person. You have a friend that's a soulmate. You have a child here that's very immature, make very hasty choices, very, very, like, you know, very, they're very temperament, very much so temperament. But this is you guys trying to be there for this person. I see you guys trying to be there for a lot of people because things are going well for yourself. And it's like trying to help others. Yeah, show me. What's your advice, Spirit, for my Virgo? What's your advice for my Virgo? It is safe to let go. You are surrounded by love. You know, there's only so much love you can hand out. And it is safe for you to let go because some of you guys, there's some people in your life that you're having to let go. Let them learn for themselves. Let them learn from their mistakes. You are surrounded by love. There's a lot of people in your life that appreciates you. There's a lot of people in your life that can use that helping hand that you're always so freely giving out. And your spirit guides are telling you it is safe for you to let go. Because I feel like some of you guys, it's like you feel a sense of duty. A sense of like almost feeling a negative effect because you're doing well or you got this and someone else in your energy that you care about deeply, they just can't quite cut it. Just can't quite cut it. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to stay the course. You are moving in the right direction. Stay the course. You are moving in the right direction towards positive changes, positive shifts, putting yourself in a good position here. You guys are in a very much so good position. You guys got some good relationships but there's also some relationships here that's just not going to quite cut it or that's just not quite cutting it. And why is that? It's because other people, there's certain people here. It's, it's the energy that they're carrying. They're very much so moody. They're very much so hurt deep. There's a deep hurt here that this person hasn't quite addressed the issues, hasn't quite addressed the issues as of yet. Yeah. All right, my loves. That's what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.